What's good guys, Prince Sports coming at you with another one. So they're trying to say Anthony Davis is back, but guess what, he never left. You know why he never left? Because he was hurt, AKA street clothes. But whenever he played on the court, you always heard Anthony Davis went healthy, top five, top 10, best player in the game. And that narrative still sticks because he's still dominating and he's doing something that LeBron James can't do. He's leading the Lakers team to wins. The Lakers, you could make a case are playing better with Anthony Davis as their number one option, opposite to LeBron, who holds on to the ball a long time, takes everybody else out of their rhythm because he's looking for his stats and he's looking for to break a record, right? So winning is probably second on LeBron's mind, not first. But if you don't even understand that by now, listen what Looney Walker had to say. Okay. Being AD, that simple. Um, He's the best player in the league. You know, it's all about just bringing it night in and night out. Um, pretty sure, yeah, we're like. Okay, so you heard him say Anthony Davis is the best player in the world. Now, I wouldn't go as far to say he's the best player in the world, but if he continues to get the Lakers a winning streak, get them above 500, give them a winning record, and continue to help the Lakers win games, not only will he be an MVP candidate, but he'll get thrown back into that top five discussion because guess what? The Lakers traded their whole team for a superstar in Anthony Davis. They didn't trade for no role player. They didn't dispendle or dismiss half their whole young roster for Anthony Davis and he's a role player. Nah, it don't go that way, homeboy. He's a superstar. And you know what? LeBron James is a superstar. They got two superstars on this team. Now, when both of these guys are playing to their credit, when they played a full healthy season, they did win the championship. So by um, Lakers standards, they are winners, but they're also losers at the same time. Because even if they're not winning a championship, they still should be title contenders, that's one. And number two, they should always make the postseason with two um, superstars on one team and three future Hall of Famers. You don't believe my word? Take Walker again for it. He's telling you right here. Three Hall of Famers, two of three Hall of Famers, two Hall of, Hall of Famers that are playing with us at the moment. I mean, like I said before the season started, it's all about just knocking down the easy open shot. So, um. okay. I mean, even though he's a teammate and he's telling you right in front of your face that they got three Hall of Famers, you know, it makes the game more easier for them. That just goes to show you that we deserve to criticize them on a high level because. They're all-time greats, right? They're going to go down as some of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. It doesn't matter if they're not top 10, top 5, top 20, top 30, top 40, or even top 75, which holds a lot of value now. You know why? Because even when you look at a basketball player's accomplishments, that top 75 thing is on his accomplishment list now. Because just saying that guy, out of all the players to play basketball from generation after generation, that he's one of the top 75 to ever do it, okay? So that does hold a lot of value. And besides, it's holding value, okay? Now, you could look at it completely different. One thing it does say, though, when it says that you're playing with elite talent, and there's no way a guy like LeBron James playing with elite talent not supposed to make the postseason. Winning a championship is another thing, okay? You got one in L.A. If you can't get another one, then so be it. Okay, it's hard enough just to win one championship. I don't even dismiss um, super team championships to a certain aspect. I do dismiss them when I'm comparing it to other superstars that won without super teams. So it cheapens the value of you winning with a super team. That is a complete different situation because we're rating superstars, right? So, of course, I'm going to look at another superstar and praise another guy that won with less talent compared to a guy that needs several top Hall of Fame talent to win, that needs um, numerous superstars to win. Of course, I'm going to look at you completely different. But that's how LeBron James rolls. So, at least thing you could do is make the postseason and stop looking for stats all the time, man. Y'all better make the postseason. Anthony Davis is keeping the Lakers alive. He's pitting it on his back. What I told y'all, 
Don't sleep on Anthony Davis. Stop calling this guy your bum. You disrespected him because he was playing with LeBron James. You disrespected him because you wanted to uplift LeBron and throw everybody else on that team under the bus. Well, guess what? Anthony Davis ain't no fucking scrub. He never was. Sports out. Peace.